open the shop? Uh, we opened the shop uh, about uh, approximately 10, almost like, okay, it'll be nine years this summer. Uh, but we were open online two years before that. So it's been about 11 years. Uh, what inspired you to open the shop? Um, what inspired me? Well, I lived in America for many years and I was a big shopper. I used to shop Islamic clothes all the time. And uh, then what happened was when I came to Sweden, I started to look around for Islamic clothes and Islamic, you know, scarves, for example, and products, and I couldn't find anything. So I felt like, okay, there's something, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I should start this, you know, there, it wasn't available. There were some things available online, but uh, uh, that shop was, I think, open for a couple of months and then it was closed again, you know, so I said, okay, so I, I, should, I should start something, especially uh, books. We started with books in the beginning and then we started with scarves and after we got scarves, our customers started to demand more. So I feel like all the products that you see in the shop are, are something that my customers had wished for. Do you plan to keep it open for a few more years? Uh, I plan to keep it open for as long as I have the energy for it. <laughs> so I don't plan to close it anytime soon. <laughs> and where are most of your products from? Uh, most of the products are actually coming from, uh, you could say Turkey, uh, we have products that come from China, we have products that come from Jordan, um, UK, for example. I'm just looking around the shops to see w if I could figure out exactly where, what came from where. Uh, but I would say most products come from Turkey. Yeah. But then we have products that are from Pakistan, for example. We have uh, clothes for men as well, not just for women. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Uh, why did you open the shop in Sweden? Uh, we opened up the shop because I felt that it was a need. And why in Sweden? It's because I moved to Sweden and I was not planning to go back to America anytime soon. So I felt like, okay, I felt like I wanted to do something on my own. And I didn't quite feel like I wanted to go out there in the, wor the working environment in Sweden. Uh, I worked for many years in the US uh, for a few companies, but then I just felt like, okay, coming to Sweden, I, I want to do something on my own. What's the best part of having a shop like this? Um, I think the most wonderful thing about having an Islamic shop is the fact that the customers are uh, people that we could relate to. Oh, uh, nice. We learn so much about different types of people that walk in here. And we're, we get happy when you know our customers find the products they're looking for. So, uh, yeah. Uh, has your shop ever received any hate? Uh, actually, no, never. And I'm actually surprised <laughs> and I'm glad. <laughs> but we have never gotten anyone come into the shop and uh, for any reason threaten us. So we're very glad about that. <laughs> you no, know, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's never been like that. Okay, so uh, why did you decide to make an Islamic shop? Okay, the reason I uh, started, uh, I opened up a shop is uh, actually we, uh, we started the shop online. And it was an online business for about two years. And uh, then we were actually moving from our location from one house to another. And the new house, we, we, we knew we were not gonna have enough space to put all of the products. So then we decided to open up a shop instead. And there were many customers who were actually coming to our house, trying on clothes, trying on all the products and buying books. Uh, so we thought that it would be much nicer if there was a shop that people, more people could take advantage, you know, advantage of the products. Are you proud of this shop? Uh, yes, I am, and I feel that there are many challenges, and uh, due to these challenges, it just keeps me going. Um, I feel like there's products that that I could have there are there are not in the shop yet, like products there are in demand, like more simple clothing, uh, and uh, also, for example, um, there are products from uh, certain countries that I have not imported yet, like Saudi Arabia and uh, there are customers that are interested in certain products that are not here yet. So, and also we have an online shop and uh, also the online shop has, has some quite challenges, you know, uh, with the flow of inventory and everything. So I feel like, you know, until those things are settled in and corrected, uh, I feel like I just have to keep going. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so, so much. much. You're welcome. Uh, it, was, it was nice having you here. <laughs>